And now the thrilling conclusion of Kai Chu with Chu, Chu Chu. I'm gonna win. You think you're gonna settle down or just settle? Either way, no amount of clunky exposition from stupid humans is gonna stop me from f***ing a monster. Kissing. What did I say? What is Giga Chu most proud of? I'm proud of my kisses. Oh, she didn't quite like that. Jeffrey once had a kiss that was so hot it melted the Sphinx's nose off. I don't, I'm not jealous, but I don't really want to hear about it. Size does not matter. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Jeffrey's size fluctuates, so it better not. Oh, actually, I thought we were talking about something else. I do prefer a woman in shape. <laughs> Does Giga Chew like metal? I love metal. I love watching it melt. Go. This topic is conducting heat. What kind of conversationalist is Gigachu? Uh, honestly, I'm a talker. She is too, maybe. Uh. They are quite loquacious. She hasn't said a word, though. No, she has not. But have I? Huh, good point. Uh, I'm a creature of the night for sure. Well, she's. Uh oh, we didn't do it. Tepper doesn't mind burning the midnight oil. Or else we're gonna get. Oh, B B S. Yeah, that was a very G-rated kiss. You did not nail that. Holy cow! We're about to break up. All right. Oh. The stakes are getting much higher now that the military is involved. I know it's just terrible. Huh? Well, hopefully this will all work out for the best. Oh. I'm sure it will. Hmm. Oh, why don't we go to the monsters see how they're doing? Yes, let's. Oh. Let's go to the part that we like. Hmm. Uh, I am not signing. Oh no! Gigachu got a fission reaction while hoping for fusion. How's Gigachu relax? Naps! Alright, well... Okay. What's Gigachu's biggest fear? Uh, failure. Great, hers too. Well, if she's into yoga and dancing and... Maybe this wasn't for the best after all. Tefra feels that failure is more fun with a friend. Wait, she's into it? What's Gigachu's favorite color? Let's try red. Now I'm pandering. And that's how I know the relationship is failing. I'm just saying what I think she wants to hear. Aren't you always doing that? Technically. Tefra's favorite color is pink, which is essentially light red. I actually find that kind of insulting. Does Gigachu like literature? Yeah, I do. More than dancing, but not more than naps. I would rather sleep than read any day of the week. Jeffrey would like a partner to read to her. Because she can't. Ooh. What was Gigachu's most formative experience? Uh. Melted ass caps? Why not? I don't know. How is that a dating question? Pangea splitting was especially tough for Tefra. Oh, icky. No, I don't think that's what they... Yeah, at least you got the kiss. Yeah. There we go. We're on thin ice. Oh, Golden Gate Bridge. Oh. Ah, yes. Good old Brevity and Lucky. Uh, oh. Good old Brevity and Lucky. The two people we love hearing from. It's so exciting. I love it so much, their witty banter really makes the game. All right, here we go. <laughs> does Gigachu care for concrete? Uh, I do not. She kind of does. Tefra contests the claim that concrete is the most destructive material. Mm -hmm. What? Concrete destructive? What's Gigachu's take on walls? I hate walls. You look. Tefra knows she needs better boundaries, but hers are still forming. Okay, so you put up walls. Great. Who's Gigachu's hero? Who's Gamera? It's not Dolly Parton. <laughs> Tefra aspires to be as hot as Gamera someday. Oh, good mm -hmm. luck! I mean, you totally already are! Is Gigachu into piercings? Uh, not really. I don't know. Um. Wouldn't yours just melt? Tiffa thinks they're kind of hot. Yeah, but you're magma. Don't blow. You. 
you know, this is not going well. Yeah, the more honest I become with her, uh, the less I'm into her. Uh, so I don't feel it as bad. <laughs> ah, good old brevity and lucky. Aww. Well, at least they're invested in what's going on with us. Yeah. They really are. They want to see us succeed, even if it means destroying the whole world. What type of music does Gigatu like? Rock! Great. Gigatu wants to play some mountain music. Does Gigatu think exes can be friends? No, he does not. Love him and leave him. <laughs> well, at least she doesn't either. Yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me. They'd both prefer to burn those bridges. Oh yeah. Could Gigachu be with someone who didn't share Chu's political beliefs? No! That's absurd! Oh. <laughs> oh yeah? Tefra has an unpleasant history of being pulled into politics. Well, that's, that's why you don't date somebody who differs from you. Tefra doesn't seem to understand common sense. <laughs> What's Gigachu's favorite animal? The goat! <laughs> I would have picked a tired to greet. Those little water bears, they're cute. Gigachu is impressed by their climbing skills. Oh, goat mountain. Is Gigachu a gold digger? I'm not. Lucky for you. But I am into diamonds, so if you could get those cheeks a squeeze in. <laughs> oh, no. Gigachu digs Tefra, not gold. A real full on lip smooch, finally! Oh, my lips! I've been so desperate for a kiss. You've gotten so many kisses in this game. I know, but once you start getting them on the regular, you just, you want more. Oh, jeez. Just go to Big Ben. Huh. Well, things are going pretty good. There were other monsters. Let's not involve other people in this. This is very monogamous, and it's going quite well. I feel like Finn from Adventure Time. Is that why you picked her? I don't know. Uh, I'm not, but I wish I were. Oh, thank God she isn't either. <laughs> she knows her limitations. Gigachu is focused on Tefra's love language. What's the most important reason for marriage? Uh... Propriety? I thought it said property. <laughs> uh, efficiency, let's be honest. Oh. <laughs> this again. We share rent. You're gonna have to work. Shared warmth just makes sense. It really does, mm -hmm. and shared heat bills. Does Gigachu have a good relationship with Chu's family? Honestly, no. Oh, <laughs> like, what? You have a bad relationship with your father. I never would have guessed. Both rely on friends over family. Does Gigachu compose poetry? I do? Oh my god. Yeah, I just saw that sign above this is a deal breaker. If I didn't write a poem, she'd be screwed. Unbridled earthly urges, embracing seismic surges, volcanic lovers erupt. That was terrible. A smooch! Gain, did we gain a smooch level? I don't know. No. Boo! Let's knock over the Eiffel Tower. Let's get this kiss out of the way. Brevity, now they're in France, and they're going even crazier, and then there's Major Boobadoo. Yeah, gotta get rid of him. I'm Brevity. I'm Lucky, and we are unimportant to the plot. To what does Gigachu attribute to success? Uh, 100% luck. Sorry, but this... Life is mostly luck. Tefra makes her own luck. That's something lucky people say. Is Gigachu ready to settle down in one place? No, I want to trap. Oh. Oh. I want to go with the. Okay, well, whatever. Does it you like animals? I'm um, okay on them. I don't really care. Uh. I'll stomp on them. Tefra only has luck with tardigrades. Oh, she didn't like animals. Uh, no, I'm not afraid of heights. You kidding? I'll climb that mountain. <laughs> don't jeez. Gigachu is as assured as a Sherpa. A Sherpa with a goat. Which does Gigachu prefer for a partner? Younger, older, same age? Uh, I think she's way older than me. Let's try older. <laughs> she's a mountain. Yeah. Gigachu is attracted to more mature mountains. Is Gigachu a fan of forests? 
Burn them down, baby. I know, I know what my lady likes and doesn't. <laughs> Get some of these softballs. Where does Goody Chew want to be in 10 years? Oh, just, just with you. Oh. That was the, uh, the lame answer. Yep. Am I gonna blow? Crap. Does that mean you lost her? Garbage! I guess. Let's risk it! Let's risk our love! Yeah, I don't... The more of these dates I go on, the less I like her. Yeah, maybe that's because you're actually getting to know her. That's horrifying. Oh! Oh, there's a helicopter! There probably won't be, it's just a drawing. Don't be silly. Oh, it's this guy again. Do we ever tell anything on the news that isn't about this? Is anything going on in the world that isn't this? I guess not. How's good you feel about mountains? I love them, baby! I, you are one, so why would I answer otherwise? Let's knock that nose off that sphinx. Kikachu isn't a climbing mountains. Does Kikachu a, uh, yeah, I like games, why not? Oh, big surprise. She's into games. She's always playing games. What is Kikachu's top pet peeve? Oh, I know this. I mean, I know it for her. The paparazzi. Don't you just hate when people follow you around with cameras? <laughs> oh, yeah. I see you read my bio. Where does Gigachu want to be in 10 years? Oh, this time. Stoking the flames of passion. Yeah. Repeat questions that we've already answered. Giving us a hint in the right direction. Getting us to a smooch. And there it was. We gain a heart level. Yes, we did! Oh boy, love that can move mountains. Gigas, you has to be hot blood enough to reverberate her actions, but cool enough to channel the heat. Alright. Major, oh boy. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. The general is telling us that he's found a way to murder the monsters. Yeah. I'd highly doubt it. Well, I think that mech thing was right on the money. <laughs> mm, so you think your love is pretty good, huh? Oh. Uh. Yes, I do. Darn it. <laughs> We're gonna melt these steel beams. There's no conspiracy behind our love. Where was your first date? First date, I believe, was the Statue of Liberty. It, it wasn't. It wasn't? Uh, that's weird. Then I don't remember. Does Gikichu know Tefra's most formative experience? The Pangea splitting. <laughs> yeah, because we made that awful joke. Awful. Tefra is still processing the impact. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't see any of that. Oh. Also, didn't it ask what my sign was? Does Gigachu recognize Tefra's greatest weakness? Uh, erosion. It's not it, but it is. Oh. Alright, whatever. Tefra slacks when it comes to landscaping, but she doesn't think it's that big of a deal. <laughs> she slacks on her landscaping? I don't know. <laughs> Can Gigachu tolerate such a temperamental partner? I can! Okay, I guess I can't. Oh. What do you... Uh-huh. She doesn't like her instability. That's why he needs to be humble. Does Gigi recognize that Chu isn't compatible? I do. I actually do. Oh, oh, no. Was that the wrong answer? I wasn't supposed to admit that I recognize that we are not that compatible. Has Gigi ever been bested by a robotic rival before? I haven't. What? That was dumb. What's the point of that? What's with these dastardly loaded questions? Oh, okay, it's... Yeah, no. I don't even mind. She bums me out now. Breaking news! Oh. Lovers drift apart. Oh. Through conversation mm. and getting to know each other better and more mm. intimately, they realize they have no connection. Oh. At least not mm. one strong mm. enough to... Mm. worth... Oh. saving. No, nope. it's a real shame. Yeah. 
They're gonna part ways, but they're both very insecure, so they'll just slowly drift apart. A gadoosh. And that is that. No, we have to keep going. Oh. Nope, that was it. She, I think she's dead. Oh, and I ask advice. Uh huh. No, no. We just keep going. No, that was it. I think we lost. Can't go on anymore. Oh, we just. Oh, I go around asking them all for advice. Okay. All right, we gotta talk to these all. Da 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 da. Uh huh. Da 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 da. Jeez. Said all of them. You talk, no, gotta talk to this one. Ah. Da, 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 da. Oh. And there we go. Robot. Oh, do we have to fight the robot again? Is that basically what it is? Let's fight for a love that we're not that into. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, yes. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh. Gonna give up on love. Oh. Gonna watch them fail. Gonna watch us drift. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Gonna melt you. Da, da, da. Where was Tiffany's first kiss? On the lips. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess it's not. It wasn't in the air. Tiffany's left language. Uh. Maybe that. Oh, oh come on. Huh. What's Giga Chew's worst habit? Uh, flashlights. I'm answering this question about myself. I can't get it wrong. Deadly gases are uh, dangerous. How's Giga Chew handle such a temperamental partner? Oh, patience. I remember reading that from her bio. Oh, we're actually beating up the robot. He's all danged up. Gigichu gives Tefra the space that she needs. How is Gigichu suited for Tefra? Constancy. Yes. Constancy and patience. Now let's kill a giant robot. Mm. Gigichu wishes to express what Chu loves most about Tefra. Her temperance. Mm. Gigichu wishes to express what Chu loves about uh, her courage. Gigichu is entranced by Tefra's strong will and zest for life. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah! Your love! Your combined settling for each other has destroyed even the most mechanical of beasts. Yes. We truly have settled for victory. Ah, uh, and isn't that what it's all about? Huh. At the end of the day? Oh. Isn't it nice? That sounds very hot. There's still so much that we don't know about Gigichu. Yeah. Yeah, like if it eats or poops. Let me answer that for you, Lucky. Yes. Oh. Uh, what would happen if Gichu had chosen to date another kaiju? Maybe I would have found true happiness instead of settling. <laughs> Don't let her hear that. And, oh yeah. I got, at least I got a warm tummy. And she's got a pillow. You know, at the end of the day, all you can really ask for is somebody that you kind of understand and know who will take naps next to you and doesn't annoy you that much. And also you get kisses on the regular. Regular smooching. The end. A game by Squitter Shins. <laughs>